We joined me on a fantastic day in March and um, it's one of those days that just keeps getting better and better. Um, I knew I was going to have a, quite a drive tonight, I'll tell you a few more details in a minute. But you find me here, which is Bob Houghton's um, premises in the Cotswold, Northleach, where it's stuffed full of the most delicious Ferraris. Um, always worth just dropping by just to see what's in. Um, some fantastic cars around. Um, some really rare ones inside working. I've seen there's a couple of um, 250 Lussos, um, 275s, all sorts of stuff. But um, none of these cars have actually come for today because I'm about to drive down to the south of France. I've got 900 miles, got 900 miles ahead of me in that Ferrari Enzo. Um, does it get any better? This is Nick Mason's car. He's very kindly lent it to us and uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning I'm going to be on the route Napoleon. Here we go. Black interior. Black wind black. It's oh, really my choice. About the quietest Enzo I've ever heard, I think, that one. Um, still on standard pipes, this one. Uh, it's covered 15,000 kilometres as well. If I actually see a bed today, I'll be surprised. this car I've learnt is um, there's no central locking. <coughs> yeah you have to you have to lock I have to lock the passenger key uh, door with the with there and I actually use the key to lock the, the driver's door. It's all in the age of lightness. <coughs> it all sort of works until I get into it.
we're just at Dijon, somewhere right, it's just above Dijon. It's about two o'clock in the morning. Um, still got to get all the way across to France and to, well, roughly here on the route Napoleon. Um, arrival time was was six o'clock. It's it's now seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so I've probably got a couple of hours in hand. Uh, I feel tired again. Um, it is possible to have a sleep in an Enzo. It's a struggle because he doesn't exactly the seat don't like to recline very far. And uh, but uh, no, no, it was all it was all right. I had about an hour's kip, um, and we'll press on. Lord knows what's going on. Yeah, 479 miles <coughs> we've done since we picked it up. Possible to go slowly on finding this car. I've well known a car you need such self control. It just builds speed like nothing else. I don't know, the Zonda doesn't just will settle at a speed and you, you've sensed the engine. But on this thing, oh dear, trying to hold it under 100 is a, is a real struggle. Alright, let's have some more bleeping. Get it in reverse. Burn the clutch out. Notice I've parked in the disabled. Whoopsie. about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and um, yeah end of journey Col Col de Vence uh, beautiful pass uh, in South France comes up from well just outside Nice up towards um, Grasse and then on to Castellane there we are it's pretty barren up here but uh, deserted at this time of year it's a great road um, bike races go up here so, I, mean, I think there's a um, looking at all the skid marks <coughs> on the road I think the locals come up here quite a lot as well so yeah 950 miles or so in this in the Enzo it was a good it was a good car to do it in actually surprised me actually really very comfy seats very good ride as I said on the way down I you know it's a lot of um, sort of noise generated from the sort of road noise etc but um, and the engine you just don't hear just gets washed away I can see why people sort of put tubies on them and things um, because it's a great noise over 4000 rpm but with a standard exhaust it's a bit quiet which is the last thing I thought I don't think I've ever seen actually an Enzo in uh, with without a tubie on it it seems to be de rigueur to fit one um, but yeah, we're going to have some fun here. You'll see another video of what we're up to here. Uh, my job was a delivery job um, last night. Um, it's always fun, you know, doing a journey like that. Actually going through the night and getting here uh, this morning just adds to the adventure, really. Super quiet roads. A um, couple of naps on the way down. Feel fine. Trouble is, I've got to drive it back um, tomorrow. But hey, it's an Enzo, so I'm not going to complain.